Cause you ain't shooting the love city, I don't know who you shooting with. Yeah, my name is Andre Rodriguez. Everybody in the neighborhood knows me as Dre. Uh, I was born and raised here in Pilsen. And, you know, just growing up in the neighborhood and just having to deal with, like, a lot of the stuff that a lot of young people in the neighborhood got to deal with when it comes to, like, poverty, uh, you know, gangs. I never, I never, I never thought I'd be doing what I'm doing now. Uh, you know, for a lot of years, I was uh, in the streets involved with gangs and stuff, and I was part of the problem. And uh, I never seen myself kind of, like, trying to be part of a solution. Uh, and, you know, it kind of just happened, uh, you know, organically, naturally. I was in the streets for my whole youth. And once I was in my 20s, I ended up getting locked up on a drug conspiracy. So I ended up doing 10 years in federal prison. And, you know, just being in prison, just you have a lot of time, a lot of time to think. I ended up getting eventually released from prison and I was back in the community. Uh, I, I definitely knew I didn't want to be involved with the stuff that I was doing before I went to prison. And I was just trying to like figure out uh, how to get my life back in order. And uh, in the midst of that, there was a, a local uh, nonprofit organization that was in the community at the time that uh, was doing violence prevention work. And they reached out to me knowing that I had a history in the neighborhood, uh, knowing that I'm like trying to turn my life around and they asked me if I was interested in uh, being an outreach worker, which is basically engaging like at-risk youth in the neighborhood and just, you know, walking side by side, like, almost like a mentor. And, you know, I, I took the, uh, after thinking about it for a while, you know, I, I ended up taking the job and it was just so much in the, in the youngsters that were in the streets at the time that I seen myself in. Like, uh, it's like I was looking at a mirror from 20 years ago. I seen a lot of myself in them, so uh, so I just started building relationships in the community with these young people, sharing my life experiences and sharing more than anything about the mistakes that I made. It. So as I'm working as a mentor in, in in the neighborhood, I knew that there was a big like generation gap from myself and the kids that were on the streets at the time. So I was trying to find some common ground just so we can kind of like make it easier to build those relationships. And you know, when I went away, there wasn't even, like the smartphone wasn't even out yet. Uh, there was no iPhones, none of that. So when I came back home, I came back to like a whole new world, the internet, YouTube. And I noticed everybody was like on their phones all the time. And uh, the question I asked myself, like how do we do some type of mentorship that involves this phone because this phone has their own attention? I just came up with the idea of like, what if we do like a digital media program? You know, the young people are always just consuming content. Uh, what if we start creating our own content? And that was the idea that uh, kind of sparked Love City. At the time, there was a youngster that was uh, that I was mentoring. Uh, that he was rapping. I heard him rapping, and I asked him like, I thought he was singing somebody else's song. It was good. I liked it. I'm like, whose song is that? He's like, it's mine. And so I was like, wow, like you wrote that? He's like, yeah. So he, uh, he told me he had a lot of uh, written stuff. So he asked, I asked him if he's ever been in a recording studio and he told me no. So in my previous life, we were in the music business and you know, we had a, our own record label back in the early 2000s. We had like went out to New York and got a distribution with Warner Brother. So I still had some relationships in the city. I started uh, making some phone calls and I, was, uh, I found a, a studio that didn't charge. And I started taking this kid to, to the studio. So I just started asking myself, how can we, you know, how can we get this done and continue to keep doing it? You know, we don't have any money. We don't have no support from nobody for this particular part of what I'm trying to do. I, you know, I explained it to the, to, pe to the place where I was working at. They didn't really understand what I was trying to do. So they really didn't like support it. I ended up teaching myself how to shoot videos using my iPhone. And I taught myself how to edit. And, uh, just by watching a lot of YouTube videos. So now we're starting to put music videos out and more people are starting to watch those videos. I, I started getting people calling me, asking me, 
uh, how much I would charge them to shoot a video. So at the time, I'm just like, like wow, like you like you pay me like because I'm thinking like, I'm brand new. I don't, I'm, I feel like I still don't know what I'm doing, but obviously like people are like they're noticing it, they like it. So you know, I I ended up uh, shooting for other people. And then, you know, I started building a little following, like really, really hyper local following. And next thing you know, uh, this Love City thing's picking up traction. The iPhone, I think we, 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 work, we worked it till it's full capacity, but it does have a, a, a limit, right? On what you can do compared to like a mirrorless camera with different lenses. And uh, so in the midst of all this, like, I got my real estate broker license because I also have some history with real estate. I'm familiar with it. And, you know, I ended up closing some deals where I had some extra cash. Uh, so I invest, I ended up investing into like mirrorless cameras, nice lenses, lighting, uh, you know, camera stabilizers and everything that I needed to kind of like step to the next level on the production side. And after that happened, it just started taking off. Like now I have a different look. And I had people from all, young people from different communities, from all over the city, you know, different cultures, different races, different ages, uh, just reaching out to me now. Like, hey, could you shoot our video? And, you know, that kind of led to now, you know, Love City is a nonprofit, working with uh, young people, teaching them how to do video production. So, uh, so now we're here in Pilsen, just running the program. This is our first, the first time that we launched uh, a program through the nonprofit. This is our first summer that we do this pilot program, and uh, the majority of the students that I got in the, in the program now are youngsters that I already have a relationship with that I've been working with. Uh, the kid that I spoke about that was doing the music, he's actually in the program. And there's other other uh, young people that I've actually either shot videos for or they've helped me shoot videos. And just seeing their growth of what they picked up in the past, uh, you know, two years, uh, it's kind of like what motivates me to keep this going. So that's kind of like uh, one of the best parts about what, what I'm doing that I'm actually, I'm seeing the growth. And at the same time, they're seeing my growth they're seeing Love Cities girls because they remember when, you know, we only had, you know, 12 followers on Instagram, you know, and uh, to where we're at now. So I think it motivates them as well. And I think it, it shows them that they're not wasting their time. You know, they're actually seeing, you know, what could be. Well, my name is Damien Salinas. Um, I've been living in Pilsen since I was like about three years old as long as I can remember. Um, I heard about this program through Andre. He had came out of jail a couple years prior and I knew his son because I went to school with him and we had, me and his son had made a rap song and he wasn't even supposed to figure, figure out about the song because it was bad and we were swearing and all that. But then one time he had went through his son's phone and he seen it and then we were in the car and he played it and he was like, y'all made this? And we were like, what the hell, where you get this from? And then he's like, if y'all for real about the music, he's like, I can get y'all in tune with a couple people. He's like, because I'm real good with music and I, I know a lot of people that could, you know, maneuver y'all through the way. So I was like, all right then. And I was like 12 at the time, now I'm 17. So I've been working with him for like a couple years from now. Love City, I mean, before I even met Love City, it has been like, it wasn't bad as it is now, but it was bad. And I used to just be always in the streets and stuff, like playing around with my friends and we were walking around and like getting into like the daily Chicago stuff, like somebody pulling up next to us, asking us where we are. And we were just kids or something like that. And it was, it's like, nah. And then Love City, it impacted me. Like, as soon as I joined here, I started finding, meeting new people. Uh, Dre opened new doors for me. Like, as far as from the studio, as far as from interviews, getting my music out there, interviews on YouTube, people knowing who I am now locally. It, it's opened a lot of doors for me, to be honest. I do see so myself. I'm not just been, I've been knowing Dre from Love City. I'm the voice, like, if you, Go click on the videos, you know that voice? That's me. If you ain't shooting with Love City, I don't know who you shooting with. It stopped me from going outside and stuff. Like, it made me focus here. Cause like, when I'm outside, I'm doing dumb stuff. So like, when I'm here and I'm in the program, I feel like, I'm cool. I'm 
safe and fun. It's just fun. You gotta open up and just try new things. Just be you. Focus on what's gonna make you successful and what's gonna make you thrive in life. And don't be focused on stuff that it's not worth it. You know, just keep pushing. It's just, you know, like, you gotta just get up and, 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 and do it, man. And even if you can't wait for people to believe in, in, in yourself, and believe in your ideas, you gotta believe in your ideas uh, before anybody. Especially when you've probably made some bad decisions and now you're dealing with the effects of those bad decisions and uh, you're trying to figure out, like, how do you turn this around? And uh, it's not easy, but like I said, just you just kind of like, Start setting small goals and start, start taking steps towards those small goals. And like I said, it can be something really, really like my baby steps, you know, but eventually like those baby steps will start turning into big steps. You ain't shooting the love city, I don't know who you shooting with.